His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned home today after attending the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and the leader of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, achieved third place and first at the level of Arab Horsemen in the championship. Upon arrival in Bahrain, His Majesty the King was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy. The Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Kingdom of Bahrain today held a new high level government forum under the patronage of the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and attended by the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Bahrain's government forum 2016 brought together government executives from all levels to explore ways in which even greater sustainable diversification and economic prosperity can be delivered to meet citizens citizens' needs and aspirations. During the forum, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister called on all government officials to work towards meeting Bahraini citizens' needs, saying that the key performance indicator of any government official is the satisfaction of the citizens with the services provided. His Royal Highness further highlighted that if citizen satisfaction is not reached, government officials should review their performance and make further improvements in order to reach this goal. The Prime Minister went on to urge government officials to constantly work together to be fully committed to coordination and use studies and research to overcome challenges, saying that this is particularly important when addressing economic challenges. His Royal Highness noted the importance of turning all challenges onto opportunities for further development and underlined the importance of continuously monitoring and evaluating government performance, saying that all plans and programs should be in line with the economic vision of 2030 and the government action plan. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister went on to state that if the developmental programs and the plans do not succeed in improving citizens' lives and the quality of the services provided for them, they have to be modified and redirected towards meeting the citizens' expectations and fulfilling the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for ensuring prosperous lives for all Bahrainis. A speech was then given by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in which he stated that the government relishes a, change, a challenge and has a passion for achievement, saying that this will underpin the future growth and development of the kingdom to benefit Bahraini citizens in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad. His Royal Highness added that Bahrain citizens are the core of the kingdom's development goals and the success of Bahrain's development depends on the achievements of meeting citizens aspirations. The Crown Prince went on to identify the objectives and tools for the next phase of Bahrain's development, which are based on the principles of sustainability, fairness and competitiveness, outlining that these include reforming the role of the public sector from the central driver of growth to one that serves as a regulator, active partner with the private sector, supporting innovation to stimulate com competitiveness and investing in citizens' futures to further improve their living standards. His Royal Highness added that in order to achieve these goals, four government tools must be utilized, including improving the quality and efficiency of public services, further developing legislative and regulatory frameworks, facilitating various government-related procedures, and continuing to invest in high-quality infrastructure projects. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صاحب السمو الملكي العم العزيز الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقر حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة الضيوف والحضور الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته صاحب السمو العم العزيز 
أن رعايتكم لهذه الفعالية لها قيمة قصوى لدينا جميعا إذا أنعقاد الملتقى الحكومي 2016 لأول مرة في مملكة البحرين يرتبط توقيته بمناسبة عزيزة وهي مرور ثمان سنوات على رعاية سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك الوالد حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة حفظ الله ورعاه لإطلاق أول رؤية اقتصادية في مملكة البحرين في عام 2008 تلك المناسبة التي تغمرنا جميعا بالإرادة والتصميم على بلوغ أهداف الرؤية التي قامت على مبادئ الاستدامة والعدالة والتنافسية حين قال جلالته الهدف من هذه الرؤية الاقتصادية لعام 2030 هو المواطن الفرد البحرين فالتنمية التي لا يكون المواطن هدفها لا فائدة منها ولا نريدها تلتقي اليوم في هذا الجمع المبارك مختلف المستويات الإدارية بالحكومة ليس من أجل استعراض الإنجازات وحسب وإنما أيضا من أجل التوجه معا للمستقبل بسواعد متكاتفة بكل عزم ومسؤولية صاحب سمو الملكي الحضور الكرام منذ تدشين الرؤية مواجهة المنطقة والعالم تحديات متعددة ولعلنا نستذكر معا ما شهد العالم من تبعات للأزمة المالية في عام 2008 والتحديات التي مرت بالمنطقة والمحاولات التي سعت لإبعادنا عن مسار التطور والتنمية في عام 2011 وما نواجه اليوم من تحديات انخفاض أسعار النفط بالأسواق العالمية ولكن جاءت هذه التحديات على قدر عزمنا وأسرارنا على تحقيق الأفضل لصالح الوطن والمواطنين وبفضل تكاتف الجميع كنا وما زلنا قادرين على تخطي التحديات التي تواجه المراحل المختلفة للتنفيذ فنحن جميعا لدينا حب للتحدي وعشق للإنجاز بفضل قيادة وحكمة سموه والعمل الدؤوب من قبل الجميع تمكنا من تطوير منظومة العمل الحكومي من حيث التخطيط الاستراتيجي والتنفيذ الفعال سعيا نحو تحقيق أهداف الرؤية من خلال مشاريع ومبادرات حكومية شاملة وقد شكلت تلك المشاريع والمبادرات برنامج عمل الحكومة في الفصول التشريعية التي تلت تدشين الرؤية وأدى ذلك إلى التوجه بثبات نحو تحقيق إنجازات متعددة ومن بينها وهذا مهم نمو الناتج المحلي الإجمالي 28% خلال الفترة من عام 2008 إلى عام 2015 ارتفاع نسبة مساهمات القطاعات غير النفطية إلى 80% من الناتج المحلي زيادة إجمالي الصادرات الغير نفطية بنسبة 290% الاستمرار في خصخصة الخدمات الحكومية بقطاع الطاقة لتبلغ مساهمات القطاع الخاص في إنتاج الكهرباء والماء أكثر من 80% الشروع في بناء خمس مدن إسكانية جديدة تنفيذاً للتوجيهات الملكية السامية لتوفير 40 ألف وحدة سكنية بمشاركة القطاع الخاص ورقم مهم أن كل هالمشاريع ساهمت أو كل هذه الجهود ساهمت في زيادة دخل الأسرة البحرينية بنسبة 47% منذ تدشين الرؤية هذه الإنجازات تحققت بالجهود المخلصة التي تبذل في كافة المؤسسات الحكومية بمختلف المستويات الإدارية والتنظيمية بقيادة سموك وكذلك تعاون ممثلي السلطة التشريعية مع الحكومة وهو ما يشكل اليوم نموذج حضاري بارز لمملكة البحرين على مسار التطور والنمو كما أن ما تم مؤخرا من تدشين لرؤى تنموية من قبل أشقائنا في دول مجلس التعاون يؤكد على صواب المسار الذي انتهجناه في مملكة البحرين منذ سنوات عديدة صاحب السمو الملكي الحضور الكرام مسؤوليتنا الوطنية تحتم علينا الاستمرار بالعمل وبذل الجهود المتواصلة بإخلاص لتحقيق تطلعات المواطنين الكرام وهو شرف والتزام لنا جميعا ومن هذا المنطلق سيستمر العمل على تطوير أداء الأجهزة الحكومية 
من أجل التميز في تنفيذ مختلف البرامج والمشاريع التي تصب في تحول الرؤية إلى واقع ملموس وتتطلب أولويات المرحلة القادمة تحقيق ثلاثة أهداف أولاً تعزيز الجهود لإعادة رسم دور القطاع العام من المحرك الرئيسي للاقتصاد إلى المنظم والشريك لقطاع الخاص بالنمو ثانياً تكثيف المبادرات التي تدعم الإبداع والتفوق ثالثاً استمرار الاستثمار في المواطن لرفع مستواه المعيشي ولتحقيق ذلك لابد من تفعيل عدد من الأدوات الحكومية تحسين جودة الخدمات الحكومية للمواطنين من إسكان وصحة وتعليم وغيرها تطوير الأطر التشريعية والتنظيمية لزيادة القدرة التنافسية دوليا ومواصلة تسهيل كافة الإجراءات الحكومية وأخيرا توفير بنية تحتية عالية الجودة تواكب متطلبات المستقبل تنسيق الأولويات ووضع خطط تنفيذية واضحة الاستقلال الأمثل للموارد لرفع الإنتاجية وجودة الخدمات واستدامتها زيادة تفعيل المسؤولية والمحاسبة صاحب السمو الملكي بالنيابة عن جميع القياديين في حكومة مملكة البحرين وأكد لكم اليوم أن عزمنا أكبر من أي تحديات تواجهنا وبتكاتف الجميع سنواصل العمل بفضل من الله وتوجيه من جلالة الملك الوالد حفظ الله ورعاية ودعم سموكم الكريم لتحقيق الغايات المنشودة من أهداف التنمية والتطور لصالح كافة أبناء البحرين المخلصين وبتكامل الجهود وبعزيمة الجميع سنواصل مسيرة الإنجازات الوطنية المباركة ونؤكد لكم اليوم أننا جميعا لدينا حب للتحدي وعشق للإنجاز والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وطن نغوص في أعماق تاريخه. A short documentary video was then shown to display the most significant government achievements across various sectors, and a number of short success stories were displayed regarding government programs and initiatives. Also during the forum, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister distributed a series of awards to high-performing entities. The Educational Excellence Award was given to the Amna Bint Wahab School following outstanding institutional evaluations by the National Authority for Qualifications and Quality Assurance of Education and Training, the QQA, over three consecutive years. The Customer Service Excellence Award was given to the Ministry of Housing, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, and the capital municipality based on their high standard of customer support through the National System of Complaints and Suggestions portal Tawassal. The government's best practices award was given to three entities including the Ministry of Interior for introducing the Maritime E-Security Project which provides new security devices on board vessels, faster rescue and protection operations and coverage of Bahrain's territorial waters by radar electrical sensors. The Ministry of Health also received the award for applying best practice on the use of antibiotics which has helped reduce government costs by over maybe 8 million and which contributed to halting various small practices which helped increase patient immunity and health and to the Central Bank of Bahrain for introducing an innovative accounting practice which transformed Islamic Takaful companies into high profitable entities and was praised by leading Islamic finance economists. CBB's initiative helped to strengthen confidence in Islamic finance and assisted in increasing the competitiveness of the Islamic banking and finance sector. وللشباب البحريني المعطاء بصمته الواضحة في تحقيق العديد من الإنجازات. وتعزيزا لدوره في شتى المجالات تم وضع حجر الأساس لمشروع مدينة عيسى الرياضية في عام 2008 وإنشاء مدينة خليفة الرياضية في عام 2009 لتصبح دافعا للشباب الرياضي البحريني لتحقيق المزيد من الإنجازات الرياضية على مختلف المستويات العربية والإقليمية والدولية
تولي مملكة البحرين اهتماما كبيرا بملف الإسكان باعتباره أحد ركائز التنمية المستدامة في المجتمعات المعاصرة حيث تمتد تجربة الحكومة في مجال التنمية الحضرية لأكثر من خمسين عاما من خلال توفير الخدمات الإسكانية المتنوعة وبناء المشاريع الكبرى والمدن الجديدة وصولا إلى تفعيل دور القطاع الخاص الذي تحرز فيه المملكة تقدما كبيرا في الوقت الراهن في تجربة تنفرد بها المملكة على مستوى دول المنطقة أمن الأول والأخير خدمة البلد أمن الأول والأخير هو تنفيذ سياسة جلالة الملك في توفير الخدمات وراحة المواطن في جميع المجالات حنا محاولات كثيرة لتشغلنا عن أولوياتنا لكن يعلم الله حتى يعني إذا ما تشوفونا في المواقع هذه حنا نشتغل في مكاتبنا لنرى حاجة المواطن في السكن في المعيشة في الخدمات الأخرى في الصحة في التعليم التفتت البحرين في مرحلة مبكرة من تاريخها المعاصر نحو أسواق المال وشرعت في بناء بيئة الأعمال والتجارة ودأبت البحرين منذ ذلك الحين على تطوير القطاع المصرفي وتوجت جهودها بتبوئها مركز الحركة المصرفية الإسلامية التي انتعشت في سوق تنافسية متنامية وجاء تدشين خدمة سجلات في العام 2016 مكملا لحزمة الخدمات الإلكترونية المبسطة والتشريعات والقرارات الحكومية المرتبطة بتعزيز البيئة الاقتصادية والاستثمارية التي ترتكز على تحسين البيئة الاستثمارية لتحقيق الاستدامة الاقتصادية بأبعادها المختلفة فمطلوب علينا أن نحن نخلق اقتصاد مبني على المعرفة اقتصاد مبني على الابتكار اقتصاد مبني على اقتنام الفرص وهذه ما بيتم إلا بتقوية القطاع الخاص وتوفير له العناصر الأساسية اللي تحقيق مهمته وإيمانا بأن المواطن هو أغلى الثروات الوطنية وهو المحور الرئيس الذي تدور حوله التنمية ومن أجله توضع خطط التطوير واستراتيجيات البناء سيتم مواصلة رسم دور القطاع العام نحو نهضة اقتصادية أساسها توفير البيئة الخصبة للنمو وتعزيز دور القطاع الخاص كمحرك أساسي للتنمية
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also gave a presentation about Bahrain's economic vision of 2030, which was launched eight years ago by His Majesty the King. The Crown Prince noted during the presentation that it is the government's responsibility to continue to work diligently to meet the needs and aspirations of Bahrain's citizens. His Royal Highness added that it is exactly this commitment that will underpin continued efforts to translate the vision of 2030 goals into tangible results. His Royal Highness added that it is been eight years since His Majesty the King launched Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. He also said this vision established the principles of sustainability, fairness and competitiveness as a framework for the kingdom's future development. He said that the core purpose of the vision is to serve citizens, which comes under the direction of His Majesty the King. The Crown Prince thanked the Prime Minister for patronizing the forum. He highlighted three key priorities vital to Bahrain's next phase of development development, such as strengthening efforts to redefine the role of the public sector from the primary engine of economic growth into a private sector enabler and regulator, facilitating innovation and increasing competitiveness, and continuing the investing in citizens and further improve their living standards. The Crown Prince listed a number of achievements made by the Kingdom since 2008. On the economic level, the Kingdom diversification efforts have resulted in non-oil sector now accounting for 80% of the GDP, local productivity grew by 28%, increasing the average income of a Bahraini family by 47% since 2008. On the government level, the kingdom was able to establish a number of regulating and monitoring bodies which contribute to enhancing the performance level of the government and provide better services for citizens. His Royal Highness said that all those achievements affirm Bahrain's capability to overcome challenges. On the achievements provided to citizens, His Royal Highness said that construction has begun on five substantial social housing projects to support the Kingdom's ambitious goal of delivering 40,000 housing units over the coming years. Regarding the youth and sports sector, he affirmed the increase of facilities up to 125 and that during the same time, a number of unprecedented achievements were made on the national and Olympic levels. And because of the Kingdom's success in hosting the Formula One for 11 years, Bahrain's expertise were used to organize the race in other countries. His Royal Highness also marked the most important goal of the next phase, where he stated that they include resetting the role of the public sector from being the main engine of the economy to being a regulator and a partner to the private sector while focusing on tourism, logistics, IT and financial services. Another major goal is to invest in citizens through creating education and training opportunities in order to allow them to achieve a better life life standard. His Royal Highness pointed out that the implementation of these goals will be achieved through four key government tools, enhancing governmental services to citizens, including housing and health services, developing the legislative and organizational framework, facilitating governmental procedures and working constantly to provide an infrastructure that is up to the needs of today's world. He affirmed that only through unity could the kingdom achieve such goals. The government forum also featured a number of panel discussions throughout the day, including a session led by the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, about Bahrain's vision of 2030 achievements and a sustainability and advancing infrastructure session led by the Deputy Prime Minister, His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. Later, the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, spoke at the forum about a sustainable environment and an integrated infrastructure, during which he said that despite the challenges, the government is continuing to provide an integrated infrastructure capable of meeting present and future requirements. He underlined the need to expand cooperation with the private sector in the development process. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa, also gave a presentation on government priorities and development plans at the next stage, referring to the development of the program of work of the government form from 1968 to present, including the constitutional amendments as well as public participation. 
The Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed al-Ramehi said the government's form was the first of its kind initiative in Bahrain and that it added to the record of relentless efforts to develop government work. The minister said the form was a reliable additional boost to performance and productivity levels to ensure the accomplishment of further liaison, coordination and cooperation within the domains of the public sector work. He added that the form will drive the growth and revitalization in Bahrain during a phase of national work that requires everyone to contribute to the efforts of Bahrain at the directives of the leadership to address all challenges. He added that the form embodies the fact that Bahrain is precisely seeking to create a quantum leap in the process and setup of administrative work in various governmental agencies and institutions. The minister said that there will be more meetings between governmental officials in the next few days to face the possible obstacles which might face the administrative and organizational work in the state's agencies and public sector institutions and to ensure the implementation of Bahrain's futuristic economic vision of 2030. The Bahraini government to form the first of its kind and magnitude in the kingdom brought together officials from different government bodies to discuss milestones in government work and the steps forward towards achieving economic vision of 2030. Mohamed Shaban reports. High-ranking officials from different government institutions convened at the Isa Cultural Center today for the first government forum. The forum aims to shed light on the government's achievements while aspiring to achieve greater diversification and economic sustainability. This is the first time that a government forum at this level is being held in, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And this, if anything, shows the government's keenness to develop its services and what it provides to the citizens because uh, when the vision 2030 was launched uh, his majesty the king emphasized that foremost uh, aim of the vision 2030 is to serve the citizens of bahrain the forum hosted a number of high-level speakers and tackled different topics ranging from Economic Vision 2030 to the future of oil and gas development, the quality of public services and health strategies and policies. As far as Ministry of Health is concerned, this is extremely important for us to improve the services that the Ministry provides to the public. The Ministry of Health is, uh, provides an important service to the, uh, to the community and this service lies in improving health of, of the population. In improving the health, I mean by making the hospital services, the primary health care services, uh, much better and easier to access for our public. A number of government entities were also rewarded during the opening ceremony for their exemplary services, including awards for different launched initiatives and projects, and ones concerned with outreach and communicating with the public. This award uh, again reflects uh, the government's uh, care about uh, uh, providing tools and means for uh, efficient and uh, top level and top uh, quality communications with its citizens. Uh, the citizen of Bahrain is always at the center of uh, focus uh, within the, our government. Alhamdulillah, this award means a lot to me, means a lot to my ministry. But uh, I would like uh, to say that uh, I, uh, uh, this is basically a team's uh, work. Uh, my whole ministry uh, staff have been uh, doing extremely well in uh, performing uh, and communicating with the citizen. And this award basically for every single individual in the Ministry of Housing. The government forum, the first of its kind in this magnitude, comes as a testament to the government's keenness to persevere to achieve excellence in government work and the best for its citizens. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. And Sarah Brake brings us more on this forum. The Government Forum 2016 opening ceremony took place under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the attendant of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. We are civil servants, so we are supposed to be serving the citizen. Being able to communicate properly 
on all levels with all our colleagues in different ministries cross boundaries would definitely enable you first to serve well the citizen second to think out of your box to think what are the things that I can really compete against my own colleagues but at the same time this is a major challenge for us because now it is said clearly that this is the direction the question is what are we going to do what are the initiatives innovative thinking leadership thought leadership that we are going to take forward to do the simple thing needed from any civil servant is to serve the citizens the main topics under which the discussions took place were Bahrain's Vision 2030 and its achievements, how the private sector drives national growth, sustainability and advancing the infrastructure, augmenting public services innovatively, and what the government's priorities are, and what Bahrain's next phase of developments will be. Coming in such a forum and coming as a gathering for the government, it's, it's really something which is like an incentive, and, and, and it will be... Um, uh, it will gather our mainly our power. It will gather our optimism mainly to do more and more for Ministry of Health. This is the first one, and I think that will accelerate our project. It will accelerate our process on, on mainly improving the improving all the healthcare sector in Bahrain. How could we uh, manage to have a good project uh, involve all 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 the concerns that you say as doctors, nursing, and allied health? And thanks God that is very successful. That when we started. We, 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 we found that it's really an added value, it's, it's improving the results and the numbers of patients that will be need for antibiotic, the number of use of such antibiotics, and even the budget which is allocated for the antibiotics, it's also reduced. So it's really an added value for us, and we are very proud about having such a project for, for, for Ministry of Health. The government forum is the first of its kind in the kingdom and brings together ministers and officials from all the government sectors in order to explore ways to deliver and improve the economy and the citizens' lives and well-being. Some individuals were at the opening ceremony but could not be a part of the discussions and are still enthusiastic about its outcome. This forum is such a golden opportunity uh, for me especially and my colleagues uh, in the legislative authority um, to work and to coordinate um, in a more cooperative manner with the executive authority. Uh, it's a great idea to have this kind of a forum, uh, to be aware as to where what we have achieved, where we have reached uh, since the Economic Vision 2030 was launched. The Economic Vision, for those who may not be aware, it is to deal with the, um, the actual um, action plan, how to bring about uh, a betterness uh, into the economic growth of our country and in the life of the citizen and of course it is uh, based on three main principles and those are of sustainability, competitiveness and fairness. The government forum brings together the brightest minds that come together to think about how to ease the citizen's life. This is Sarah Barek for Bahrain 55. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Affairs, the President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of achieving third place in the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia and topping the Arabs competitors list. His Royal Highness stressed that this achievement is a result of Sheikh Nasser's efforts in leading Bahrain's equestrian team. He added that such victory proves that Bahrain youth can achieve great results and highlight the kingdom's name in regional and international events. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa paid a surprise visit today to a Sanabis village to check on the residents and their needs. The visit had a positive impact on the people of Sanabis who warmly greeted His Royal Highness, welcoming him and thanking him for his constant care. His Royal Highness talked to the citizens and listened to their needs, directing the authorities to respond promptly. He also visited the Sanabis Primary School to ensure the finish up of maintenance work that he ordered a month ago in response 
to the demands of the local villagers and parents to spare students the burden of studying in another school and ensure they study in their own village. He commended the friendly relations between the people of Bahrain and their stance against whatever threatens the social fabric. Prince Khalifa stated that government's ultimate goal is to find the best solution for any possible problem and to ensure that the citizens receive the best quality services in a way that meets their aspirations. For their part, people of Asanava's village thanked His Royal Highness for his continuous care and support. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Gudabia Palace today Secretary of State for International Trade in the United Kingdom Dr. Liam Fox. His Royal Highness confirmed that the region is always open for more British Bahraini cooperation in the economic and commercial fields, especially because of the friendship the two countries share historically and from a genuine desire to improve their cooperation in order to serve their common aspirations. His Royal Highness praised the relations of friendship and cooperation between Bahrain and the UK including in trade, pointing out his keenness on enhancing bilateral trade and economic cooperation and the establishment of more joint ventures between both private sectors, as this has a positive impact on enhancing mutual cooperation. The Prime Minister stressed that British investments are always welcomed in Bahrain, especially in light of the many promising opportunities available in different sectors. For his part, Dr. Fox expressed his country's deep appreciation for the support the government of Bahrain gives 
initiatives led by the Prime Minister in promoting the relations of friendship and cooperation, as well as his encouragement in the establishment of joint ventures and encouraging British companies to invest in Bahrain, stressing the UK's keenness to extend cooperation with Bahrain based on their historical ties. His Royal Highness of Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also received at Gudabia Palace, UK Secretary of State for International Trade. They discussed means of economic and commercial cooperation as well as enhancing investment opportunities between the two countries, which is what Bahrain aims to achieve through stimulating the economic environment in order to achieve sustainable development. His Royal Highness affirmed the development of the Kingdom's bilateral relations manifested in their strong historic friendship and cooperation in different fields. He pointed out that Bahrain is keen on strengthening its relations with the UK, particularly in the commercial sector, as it is essential to enhance sustainable development. He stated that the Kingdom has reinforced its economic position through encouraging and developing investments. For his part, Dr. Fox thanked the Crown Prince for his keenness on developing bilateral economic and commercial relations so as to benefit both countries. In a ceremony held to honor the winners of the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia International Equestrian Federation, the IEF, Second Deputy President Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa honored the representatives of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for achieving third place in the World Endurance Championship and topping the Arabs competitors list, finishing behind the Spanish duo of James. Punti and Alex Lecou, who came first and second respectively. His Highness Sheikh Nasser dedicated this achievement to His Majesty the King in appreciation for his continuous support for the endurance sport and the Bahraini Royal Endurance Team's jockeys in all championships, stressing that these achievements are the result of His Majesty's constant care. He added that this victory is to be added to the Kingdom's record, which is full of achievements in endurance sports, noting that endurance in Bahrain is developing due to the huge efforts put in by the Bahrain Royal Endurance Team's jockeys and technical staff to reach top places. His Highness stressed that there were many factors that contributed to make this race as a very tough one, including the participation of the world's elite jockeys, adding that having as many elite jockeys makes races more exciting. He noted that the Bahrain Royal Endurance Team's jockeys were keen on demonstrating high-level performances, stressing that the team achieved the goal set for participating in this championship, which is competing for first places. The first Vice President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Federation, His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Kingdom's achievement of winning a gold medal in the Paralympics. Player Fatma Abdul Razak won first place in shot put, and player Ruba Al Amri won seventh place in discus throw. He also congratulated their Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, Her Royal Highness. 
is the wife of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Affairs, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Hassan Sheikh Khalid affirmed that these achievements came as a result of the wise leadership's constant support for youth and sports, particularly disabled sports, which allowed Bahrain to become a strong competitor both regionally and internationally. He added that the leadership managed to translate the directives of His Majesty the King through implementing plans that aim to develop the infrastructure of the sports field in the kingdom, which in turn resulted in creating a proper environment for athletes. His Highness has stated that the efforts of Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad have helped enhance the disabled sports, which helped the players achieve great results in international tournaments. He expressed pride in the Bahraini achievements in the Paralympics. His Highness also congratulated the Bahrain Disabled Sports Federation under its chairman, Sheikh Mohammed bin Daraj Al Khalifa, and all its members. He said the achievements reflect the efforts of the federation, which has created programs that helped develop the level of the national team, enabling it in turn to win a gold medal in the Paralympics. He commended the level of the two medalists, stating that they have great capabilities through which they managed to achieve these great accomplishments. He said they were an excellent example of defying disabilities and of hard work. The Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on achieving the third place in the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia and the first place among Arab participants. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa underlined the capabilities of Bahraini youth in highlighting Bahrain's reputation at international and regional sports. Events. He wished His Highness Sheikh Nasser continued luck and success. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, participated in the complimentary meeting for the 140th session of the GCC ministerial meeting that was held today at the permanent headquarters of Saudi Arabia and the United Nations in New York. The session, which was attended by the GCC foreign ministers, discussed the latest decisions of the GCC joint action and added in addition to regional and international developments. The ministers also discussed coordination and consultation regarding all issues in the region and that will be debated in the 71st session of the General Assembly of the United Nations. They also reviewed GCC joint ministerial meetings with other groups. A press statement was issued by the Ministerial Council hailing the outcome of the consulta consultative meeting of the leaders of the GCC countries held on May the 31st, which will contribute to the promotion of joint work and enhance security and stability in the region. The Ministerial Council congratulated Saudi Arabia for the successful pilgrimage season this year, condemning the attempts of Iran aimed at politicizing pilgrimage, calling on Iranian officials to refrain from such actions and attitudes. And the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, patronized the opening ceremony of Wadi Sale Boys School. The school is now ready to receive students of the new academic year of 2016 to 2017. Wadi Sale School consists of a single four story building, including 38 classrooms with a capacity of 1,300 students. It was built at a cost of 4.1 million Bahraini dinars. He affirmed that the new school is one of a number of new government schools designed with modern architecture and facilities currently being constructed. He commended the support of the wise leadership to develop the educational march of the kingdom. He stated that Wadi Sale School is one of 10 new schools on the government's agenda to build modern schools in different governments. The new schools will be built in order to provide seats for students close to their residences and to enhance the quality of education through developing e-learning and enhancing the school's environments. The new schools come in accordance with the initiatives of the national program to develop education and training. Dr. Naimi then expressed good wishes for educational faculty members, the students and their families for the new academic year. The minister toured the school where students attended classes. He witnessed the implementation of digital technologies in different classrooms.